So for every couple who are undergoing an IVF cycle, it is a roller coaster ride, actually with a lot of emotions riding on it. However, when you get a pregnancy, the joy is multiplied if the baby is from your own DNA. And this is what we at NOVA, we are striving to give you a pregnancy from self-cycle. Hello, I'm Dr. Sujata, Head of the Embryology of NOVA IVF Fertility. So in IVF, there are two aspects. One, uh, an embryo is created from the patient's own gametes, meaning eggs from the wife and sperm from the husband. This type of IVF cycle is called as self-cycle. On the other hand, in some circumstances, we need to use external support, meaning eggs from a donor or sperm from a donor. And these type of IVF cycles are called as donor IVF cycles. So what is the significance of this discussion? That is self-cycle versus donor cycle. Let's first understand why do we even perform donor cycle IVF? There are certain medical conditions where like the woman will not be able to produce any eggs. There, some, there could be some problems with her ovary. Her ovaries could be resistant to hormonal stimulation or she could be having some cancer or other ailments which actually are sensitive to her hormonal stimulation. In these cases, there is no option but to use a donor gamete. Same way, in some men, they will not be able to produce any sperm and when there are no sperm, you cannot create any embryos. Here again, there are no option but to go for a donor sperm. However, don with donor gametes, the success rate is always predictable. So whenever there is some compromise in the egg quality or the sperm quality, to opt for a donor cycle first is not the option. In NOVA, we try to work with the self gametes and try to achieve a pregnancy before resorting to donor cycle. However, why is that still we uh, look for self cycle as the first option? The reason is we can give a couple uh, an embryo or a baby with their own genetic constitution, with their own DNA. This journey of IVF for a couple is more like a personal journey. So that is the reason why we insist on self-cycle for a couple. So to achieve success with self-cycles, what efforts or what extra efforts are needed? First, we need to have an excellent clinical team, a doctor who can assess the patient and give the right kind of hormonal stimulation and things like that. But what efforts are needed from the embryology lab to achieve a, a good embryo from a self-cycle? One, we need to have a good atmosphere. Here, we are talking about compromised gametes, either in terms of quality or in terms of number. Meaning like sometimes we might be even working with just two to three eggs or two to three sperm. So we have to create an environment which is similar to that of an environment in the uterus so that the gametes will not get stressed. So environment, the embryology lab environment is at most crucial. Air has to be filtered and it has to be free of uh, contamination and toxins so that the embryo actually should feel at home there. Along with a good environment, it is also important to have a good infrastructure or good equipment to uh, achieve success in self-cycle. When I say equipment, say for example, we are talking about incubators. Incubators are places where the embryo gets it to stay for almost five days outside the human body. Now, having adequate number of incubators is mandatory because every time an incubator door is open and closed, the atmosphere or the environment inside is compromised. So, the lab has to be equipped with enough number of incubators and micromanipulators, microscopes, which actually work at the best of their efficiency to get maximum success in self-cycles. So with a good environment, good equipment, it's also important to have skilled and experienced embryologists handling these gametes from a self-cycle. Embryologists are basically creating life out of their hands. And especially in the case of self-cycle, they have to pay more attention because as I said, like we are working with compromised quality or quantity of gametes. 
sometimes it could be just the number of eggs number of sperm or it just could be uh, the quality of egg or quality of sperm so an embryologist actually should stick to the sop which is actually validated in the lab and also should use their experience and training to judge what is the best way possible to create an embryo which actually can result in a live baby so here we are talking about a team with qualified embryologists trained embryologists who undergo constant training and validation process to give the best outcome from self cycle so in a self cycle what happens when there is a problem with the egg or the oocyte suppose if the a problem is with the number like the patient does not have enough number of eggs then multiple cycles of stimulations are then the eggs are frozen and when we get enough number they are warmed and the procedures are performed suppose if it is with the maturity of the egg the problem is with uh, the egg being post mature or the egg being immature then we adjust the timing of fertilization where we can get an optimal outcome or optimal embryo what happens when there is a problem with the sperm here again if the number is the problem meaning if the man does not produce enough number of sperm then we do surgical sperm retrieval where we can get some sperm for the procedure suppose if the quality is not okay then we use advanced sperm selection techniques because from the sperm which is available we use technique to get the sperm which is capable of resulting in a good embryo and when we are talking about advanced sperm selection here we have uh, uh, techniques such as microfluidics or uh, techniques which uses magnetism it is called as magnetism activated cell sorting and other uh, methods where you can just pick up a sperm which is potent to result in a good embryo i'm sure you would have heard of this term blastocyst a lot in a uh, context with ivf what is a blastocyst that is a stage of an embryo beyond which it cannot be uh, kept outside the human body meaning at the blastocyst stage the embryo either has to go back to the uterus or it has to be kept frozen in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degree celsius this is the advanced uh, stage of embryo which can be cultured in the lab but what is the significance of this blastocyst in this context of self cycle see when we transfer blastocyst the success rates are much higher than transferring an embryo at an earlier stage as i said blastocysts usually are achieved on day 5 or day 6 but if you are transferring a cleavage stage embryo on day 3 then that has significantly lower success rates compared to a blastocyst transfer so if you have to achieve maximum success in a self cycle a lab an embryology lab should actually attempt to culture the embryo up to the blastocyst stage then it actually guarantees or it just gives us more hope in achieving a successful pregnancy do we do anything more for achieving success rate with self cycles yes we actually incorporate technology the latest one being use of artificial intelligence for identifying an embryo which is capable of resulting in a live birth a normal human eye may not be able to uh, visualize certain features of embryos which actually could be helpful but however artificial intelligence based system can improve the accuracy it can actually help the embryologist to identify the embryo with a good implantation potential or which is capable of resulting in a live birth who qualifies for a self cycle couple who have or who uh, from whom we can get usable gametes usable eggs and usable sperm actually are eligible to undergo self cycle so for every couple who is visiting a fertility clinic the requirements could be different hence the treatment options could also be different so here at nova ivf fertility we have a team of able clinicians and experienced embryologists to identify the right kind of treatment for you to help you achieve pregnancy with your own gametes and self cycle is basically a challenging technique because of the compromised number of uh, oocytes compromised number or quality of sperm but in spite of that we 
with our uh, expertise and our uh, infrastructure we assure you that we can help you achieve pregnancy with your own gametes so the challenges with cell cycle are more compared to a donor cycle because of the number and also the quality of the gametes but in spite of that Now we suggest or we actually recommend cell cycle as the first option because of our confidence in our uh, infrastructure our expertise and experienced team to help you achieve to have a baby with your own genetic makeup